All right, let's take a look at the chart action for VeChain. The ticker symbol VET USDT. And this is on the Binance exchange. All right, so we have an uptrend going like this, and then we had another uptrend going like this, and we broke down through that uptrend for a brief moment, and then we got shot right back up into this bullish uptrend. Right now what I'm looking at is this downtrend going something like this. So in my opinion, we have this uptrend going like this and we have a downtrend going like this. We're going to want to see if this trend line can keep holding support and we get a bounce on it maybe. Or if we break down and we start retesting this trend line down here. One thing that I would probably do is maybe wait for a breakout to the upside or the downside right now. So in the most recent kind of smaller time frame, you can say, is we have a downtrend. And then in the bigger overall time frame, we have a big uptrend. It looks like we got some support right here. So this looks pretty bullish. Uh, the crypto market in general has had a correction. So this looks pretty much um, normal. Let's go to like a daily time frame. All right, so we're on the monthly time frame. I wanted to kind of look for like the big huge run and here it is. So what I wanted to do is do a Fibonacci retracement and what we'll do is we'll grab the bottom of this run and grab it to the top and that gives us some levels to watch. I like to watch this 38% level which is around dot 17, this 550 this 50% level which is around dot 144. So let's go in here. Let's go to the smaller time frames. Let's go back into there. And as you can see, we bounced off the 50 level. So I would say maybe you could probably do so if I was going to set some buy levels, I would probably do something like this, maybe right here at around dot one, two, eight, seven. And then we also have a little bit of support like right here at around dot one, six, four. I don't know if you want to wait to buy the dip or if you want to get in right away. Like I said, I would probably say we want to wait to break this trend line before we make an entry as far as breaking trend lines. And then if we want to get an entry as far as finding some support levels, I would say watch these two ones right here. And then also, I guess we have this 50% level right here, something like that too, which is at dot one four four. So th that's another level I would watch. And then one more level is this one right he down here at dot one one two. Like I said, I'm not sure if we're gonna if we're just gonna break out to the if we're just gonna break to the upside and just um, and leave these targets behind. But that's what I would kind of look at. And then the other thing I would kind of look at is maybe a sell order, maybe somewhere up here. So like there's a lot of resistance up here. Maybe target these areas up here if we did get a breakout to take some profits. Let's clear everything out and let's look at the moving averages. This will tell us um, whether we're in a good spot or kind of a bad spot. And the daily is one of the main ones I like to look at. And honestly, a lot of crypto is looking like it broke the daily time frame and it's getting support on that either weekly or monthly time frame. So you can see this moving average is kind of down here, kind of far. And we actually got support on it pretty much like right here. It's a little bit. We didn't actually straight touch it, but it's like right around that same level at around dot one, two, eight. Let's go into this daily time frame again. So the thing I usually like to say is we don't want to really get bullish until we break above this moving average again, guys, because I feel like it's we're going to get bounce on it. We're going to get resistance on it. I, that's just what I my opinion. I always this is why I like to watch this moving average so much because because when we're under it, it feels like we have a lot of resistance. And then when we're on top of it, it feels like we have the support so on the daily time frame. We're under it, which is bearish. However, if we go to that weekly, we're still on top of it. So like I said, in the big time frame, still bullish. In the smaller time frame, kind of bearish. But we are bouncing off this trend line right here. So this could be a possible dip area opportunity. In general, I think the crypto space is just dipping like crazy. And I've been trying to like just see what kind of opportunities I could get into. All right. If you guys like that video, hit that thumbs up button.